SCP-001 Description SCP-001 is a blue book manufactured by the SCP Foundation in 1995. It was first discovered in the year 1752. The book looks like a standard MTF containment manual for an unknown object that has yet to be identified. When the book is opened, it seems to have more pages than it is able to contain. From the outside it looks like it has about 50 pages, but when scanning through the document, it looks like it has over 100 pages. This is anomalous in itself, but not the reason why it has been classified as what it is. This is by all accounts, the first item that was ever discovered. It was also the catalyst for all other items, before and after. It sort of broke reality, one could say. The man who found it, whose name I shall not mention in these documents, was an eccentric man. And the way it was found was most peculiar. It was five in the afternoon, in a back alley of London, in the, mo in the more seedy part. The man who found it, he was walking home from a rather advent uneventful day at, uh, at his laboratory. And, um, yeah. He, uh, he found a man that did not look like any man he's ever seen before. He wore a white coat. Yes, a white coat it was. And he had a strange insignia on that coat. In his hands was clutched a manual, or rather a book, a blue book, a book that bore the same insignia that he had. And the font, the text in the book was precise. It didn't look handwritten or... It looked like it was precise and unlike any font I have seen since. The man took the book from this stranger on the ground before, con before contacting the constabulary, and uh, the man was dead. I have to, I, the man was dead at when he was found. It was, how uh, should I say, a sad day. But uh, oh well, he couldn't tell us anything, at least. But as soon as the man, our protagonist in this little story, opened the book, he noticed something changed. Suddenly he didn't feel like he was in his own little London. Suddenly he felt something was very, very off. And that when he knew what he had to do. He put together the most brilliant mind he could muster for a reasonable prize and started looking for this object that was described in this blue book. And he couldn't find it. But he found other things. Things that were unexplainable. And that is how our, our little group, this foundation, was founded. We may be stationed in, we may be stationed in the Americas at this time, but we must not forget where we started. In those alleys of London looking for more scraps of paper, looking for that room that was described, looking for that item 
that was held in that room. But we could not find it. But we found other things. The book is now contained within the walls of this building we are in now, but it is inert, really. There's no magic. If you open it, you can flip through it. It looks like any other MTF manual. We actually based MTF manuals on this manual, so it's a bit of a paradox, I would say. But, um, yeah, the only strange thing about it is that it seems to have more pages than it can actually hold. But we have never found the items described in it. Isn't that odd? Isn't that odd? Anyway, thank you for coming to this lecture. I think that, um, Oh, five dash two had something to say.